When you first get your skull, it's easiest if you arrange all the pieces like this. Go from 1 all the way up to 49. You will notice that there is no 25. This is just a process of how I made the skull. So what you're going to want to do is probably start from the middle. That's the easiest. So you take a large spline and you put it through here. And then you add the numbers. And you just follow in sequence. 26, 27, 28. I found it's easiest to start from the middle. 29, 30, 31, etc. Also, I found it's easiest to put them over this piece, this connector from this side, not the split side. Somewhere around here, it's also a good idea to take one of the smaller ones and do it through the other registration, so a similar way. So then you have two. You can also glue every piece if you want, but I usually wait and glue the ends and then afterwards if I want to glue it, I glue the whole thing together. So now life is a bit more difficult because you have to get it over to expand those a little bit. And if I find it gets a little bit too short, I just expand it out a little bit. You can see part of your skull is starting to take shape. So now you'll see that there's only one piece that goes to this. There's no second hole. So that's how you know you reach the end of one of the sides. So with one of the pieces that go in. Six, seven, eight, nine. And the last piece here is then meant to be glued on and cover up last number, etc. Now we'll go over here. Uh, sorry, like this. Cover up that. Covers up the last number and the last square. But I'll wait to do that in a minute. So that's the first half. The second half is done in exactly the same way. It's a little bit more difficult because you have two sides to contend with. You can sort of leave that flat. And then try and guide it in with your fingers. The closer you get to the end, the easier it gets. The hardest part is the beginning.
you do want to be a little bit careful not to break the middle pieces, the pieces that will hold it together. Although I have given extras in case that does happen. At this point, I would grab another one of these. I would fit it in. This is probably the most delicate part because you're trying to feed it down through the length of the pieces. And basically, you can do that just more or less by wiggling it and getting it in. You can see it pushes the other piece out as well. If you sort of wiggle it back and forth. Let's get it through. And now you'll see it's through all the way to the other side. So you push them until they're even, and then you can push the whole thing, the whole piece back like it's across. You can do the same with the other piece. Once you have one guide in, the second one becomes much easier to do. And now we can finish with the rest of the skull. It also is now a little bit more difficult because you have to get the whole cross into the hole. And you have to do it twice. This requires some patience. And again, gets easier the more you do it. Having the pieces pre-lined up makes it a lot easier. You don't really have to think about what you're doing so much. And you can focus on pieces in the holes. See now that your skull is getting pretty close to complete. You want to make it even a little bit easier. You can also push this one a little bit more in so it can wiggle a little bit less. You'll notice now that there's a little piece that sticks out. If you take a pair of pliers, you can rip those the little pieces off. Alternatively, you can 
can also just dampen down. Or you can cut them. You just cut cut them off so that they're flush. It's quite soft. So. We still have some piece on the other side. And then two, one. On the other side, so now the skull is almost complete. You have two little covering pieces, you have two pieces that stick out. At this point, it's probably smart to glue the pieces you want to glue. What I generally what I do is I glue the ends, so I take the pieces back off and I glue these last pieces together. That way you'll have the pieces that stick at the end. You'll still be able to move the skull in the middle if you want. If you wanted to, you could go back and glue every individual piece just by lifting apart, putting some glue, closing it, lifting some glue, closing it, and so on. I find that's not really necessary, but if you wanted to make it one stable piece, you could do that. After you've finished all the gluing, if you've got one piece that's, let's say, sticking out more than others, you can go back and take off the extra pieces. The knife as well. The extra piece was made so that it was a little bit easier to construct. So now you've got the piece here. You simply cover the last piece with this, glue that on, and you're done. You can do the same on the other sides the same trick and glue it on and you're done and then you'll have the whole skull together as one piece and that's how you construct my games for good skull Thanks for watching.